All right, welcome back to Study Ball. And I've had a lot of people asking me to break down Josh Allen, which is a pleasure because he's playing some really, really good football on a lot of different levels. So let's talk about a few things that I'm seeing that uh, I like that he's doing. All right, so see this guy creeping in here. We're all good. We've got basically one, two, three, four down lineman in this particular case, even though that looks like a linebacker, it's a lineman, so we're going to him. And then we're going to pick up probably five here. These guys end up cross-dogging, meaning they're switching responsibilities, so we'll pick up this guy as five right there. But with both of them coming, obviously we got those five. This guy would be the free guy. So you got a couple different options here because usually the hot – if we come back and look at it, right, we're taking care of these four and this guy. So we're taking care of the backside five or to Josh Allen's left. So Hot's really to the front side. So you really think Hot's to the front side, even though if you're aware of what they're doing, obviously the middle is completely open here. So Josh would have an opportunity here. Cole's running the quick slant off the quick choice. He could hit the Hot there if he wanted to, but he knows the Hot's coming, doesn't panic as he reads out the front side and matched here, covered there, he's gonna take a curl in this particular case. So the ability to understand where the pressure's coming from, how quick or slow it's coming, that guy's coming from the wrap position, he's the hot, there's lots of distance, I don't have to panic, I can drop back and I can throw a curl as my hot. So I can throw the ball 10 yards down the field on a hot if I understand where the pressure's coming from and what distance it's coming from. I can sit in there, pressure never even gets to him, delivers the curl against the hot. Really well done, something that he is doing so much better this year than he did last year. Okay, I'm gonna come back in this little look right here and here's what I love. Okay, so we're gonna have basically a post concept here with an over coming there. And so, you know, we're thinking the double post if we can have it. So possibility here based on this backside safety. But what you're going to notice is look at this pressure that's coming in his face. Look at this pressure here. And so he's got pressure in his face, doesn't have time to really, you know, verify what's going on with the post, but has to be able to see that it's open here, that Broncos will go back, brought the pressure off this edge. So this guy is the widest guy in terms of Flat coverage as long as somebody else doesn't drop off. So both of those guys chase. He recognizes this. He's got pressure. And look how early he throws this over here. Just knowing what the situation is. I got pressure, but I know I can set it out there because there's nobody else in that flat position based on the way that they played. I mean, really, really well done. The ability to see ahead of it and anticipate that throw. Let's look at it from this perspective just because I mean look at this you got two guys ready to knock you in the face and his ability to stand and flip that ball out there and again he can put air on it because he understands what's open to that side lays it up and over the second level just an unbelievable play with pressure in his face but it's awareness of knowing what's out in front of that and can I lay that out ahead of time or not okay this particular case right here we're going to come back and we're going to have two high safeties here, okay? Usually when you have three receivers to one side and a team's playing a too high look, this safety right here is going to be outside of number three, okay? Outside of number three. And so we always want to gauge that because if this guy's outside of number three, I've got a wide receiver here, usually on a linebacker, and we're gonna take that guy down the middle. I know I've got a great matchup there. With that, there's a couple things that I have to be aware of, okay? So always wanna be aware of the backside safety. So oftentimes what we're gonna have is we're gonna have this and we're gonna have digs going outside and then we're gonna have some sort of choice route here by Cole Beasley. So it's a quarterback, what I wanna do is I want to hold this safety first. So I wanna peek backside just to verify that he stays outside the hash and he stays wide. So if I wanna take this shot down the middle, I know where that guy's at and I know if I have that opportunity. If he were to push over to this three receiver side, now I get my one-on-one -on -one backside. He stays back there, great. 
Now I'm going to come back to the front side safety. Once I've verified he can't be in the play, come back to the front side safety. If he widens, I'll take my one-on-one -on -one down the middle. If he squeezes, then I will work out to Stefan Diggs down the sideline with that one-on-one, -on -one, this guy being in the cover two that should have a chance to get past him. So you'll see Josh does a great job. Right here, he's peeking backside safety. He's holding that backside safety in a position, knowing that he wants to come back to this one-on-one -on -one right here. Okay, as he works back, he gets this safety to widen right here, right? This guy drops it. This is the guy that he was verifying, right? So he kept him over there knowing that he can drive this throw in there as long as this safety gets wide. Does a great job of coming back, anticipating it, and ripping that ball in there. And I love the position of it, right? The wider we can keep that, the better off we are so this guy can't get involved. We always say when you run that route, you can never cross the middle of the field, so you can never get past the middle of those hashes because now this guy can get involved. His receiver does even a better job here as he wins. He stays with a lot of width out to this side so Josh can bend him back just a little bit inside, but backside safety cannot get there because he stays in a great position up the front side because we want to isolate this guy. Anytime we cross over, that guy can get involved. So well done here. And then you see the two-on-one we would get if this safety sees it and squeezes it. We have our one-on-one -on -one outside, but well done verifying the backside safety, getting over there, making a good throw, good placement of the ball to keep it away from the backside safety for a touchdown. All right, once again, what I love is how he's handling hot situations. No panic, okay? So in this situation right here, they're going to bunch it all up here, and we're going to have a hot, a free guy coming off the edge here. He's got his receiver pushing and breaking out, but watch how there's no panic here, right? No panic. He's just going to wait. Okay, you can come to me. I'm going to wait for my guy to get down the field and break. I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to have to throw it too soon and have an incompletion. I understand, once again, the depth of the hot, the depth of the pressure on the snap. This guy's about 10 yards away from him, so I don't have to throw it quick because I got 10 yards to be able to wait for my guy and then look at this throw. Nice throw. I'd like to see his technique a little bit better. His feet going down the hash and he's throwing it over here. Don't really like that, but nonetheless, great job here of throwing with a little bit of touch, getting it up and over, putting it out in front of his guy, but not panicking in a hot situation. This is the stuff that takes you to the next level. We know a lot of guys can make throws. When things are there, they can make the big time throws. The ability to handle pressure, to see stuff, to understand situations and have a feel for how much time do I have here before that guy gets to me to allow my guy to get open? Or how quickly is my guy going to break so I can get the ball on him? But this one takes a little bit longer to the backside. A little choice route, he's setting it up. No problem, not gonna panic. Never even takes him off the spot. Still has plenty of time to deliver and he's not falling away, he's not getting hit understands that relationship and puts a beautiful ball out there to Cole Beasley. Here's another one, okay? So this is what we would call, all right, we've got six guys blocking. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll take care of those six guys. Got a free safety coming here. So basically what it's going to be is blitz zero, man to man across the board with these three guys on the bunch. Okay, so we've got man to man across the board. This free safety's coming. So it's what we would call a sight adjust. So a lot of times you don't have when you have a solo receiver on the backside, right? He can run any route in the route tree. So what we have to do is if this safety comes and we know he's not going to be blocked, we usually will adjust this to something quick. It could be a fade, could be a hitch, could be a quick out, all that stuff. Some people, <coughs> excuse me, some people don't have that adjustment. Even though Diggs is looking here, they don't make that adjustment. But I've got to have an answer as a quarterback to understand, okay, what am I going to do, right? Because this stuff over here is not looking at the backside safety, so they're not breaking anything off. But have a plan against pressure. Have a plan with whatever's going on. And so they don't have the adjustment over here, nothing quick. Okay, what do I have on the other side that's quick? He's going to have a quick shallow route here. And so Josh does a great job of understanding, okay, Free hitter coming. 
Got to beat him with the throw. Okay, he's not getting blocked. I'm going to buy myself a little bit of time. Where's my answer? Where's my answer? Well, my answer is coming from the other side. Okay, and it's replacing where that pressure is coming from. So let me just buy a little bit of time and set it out there to my guy. Well done. Having a pressure plan, understanding where my issues are and how I can answer that, even if it's not a great built-in answer within the offense, knowing you have an answer or a quick throw, right? Could have maybe come back to this one as well, but I love this. Know that there's nobody there. The pressure's coming from inside. Where's your guy that's replacing it? It's my shallow from the other side. Get the ball to him, and we get a positive play there. All right, one more here for you guys. Coming up here once again, so we're going to see that same sort of pressure. Boom, 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 boom. Those four, okay, coming on pressure. We saw that earlier. This time, they're not bringing any inside pressure, so we've got it picked up. We've got a quick choice route right here. They love to hit that in that first window. You see soft coverage right here. Boom, take it right now, right? Well, Josh does a great job here. He wants to take it right now, but he feels that there's no pressure. This backer works to that side. Once again, no panic, right? I understand where my issue is. I understand Cole is going to beat that guy. That's not my issue. This guy's my issue. If he doesn't bring pressure, if he doesn't push to the strong side, he's my issue. Got to know where my issue is on every play. He's my issue. I want to take it. Ah, I can't hit it there, but watch the patience. No problem. I'll work this guy as I pump with my eyes. I see him and we're going to hit what we call the second window. Okay, so first window is right here between these two guys. Second window is between these two guys. So late or can't hit that on the first window because the movement of the linebacker, no problem. We'll move him, boop. We'll just pop it to the second window right behind his ear. And now we're going to get a big play on the second level. Just love the fact that there's no panic in Josh Allen right now. He's got a plan. He understands what he's seeing, and he's confident that he can make each and every throw on the football field, thus the reason he's playing at an MVP-type level.